you know, I have this problem where I have to keep myself distracted all the time. I jump from obsession to obsession just to make sure that my brain never has to think for itself. Because if I didn't, I'd just constantly be thinking about the impending doom that awaits me in this world. Or well, technically that I'm in, that we're all in really. I have to distract myself to make sure that I can stay afloat. I have to keep myself focused on a stupid book or show just to make sure that my brain never forms a new thought. And it's not that my thoughts are evil, it's just they're scary. They keep me up at night when all I want to do is dream. I think that's why I like sleeping so much too, because it's the only time I ever get to feel peaceful. And you're probably thinking like, why don't you just journal or something? And I do. <laughs> it's just sometimes I don't even know what I'm thinking. It's kind of just this feeling, this weight, that's dragging me down and telling me to just sleep my wife, my life away. Which sucks because I have dreams, I have goals. I'd love to be a teacher or a writer, even though that sounds <laughs> scary. I want love. I want to be happy. I, I mean, I am happy. It's, I don't know, it's hard to say when you have to constantly be distracting yourself to keep yourself happy. Does that mean that I'm not happy? If I have to keep myself distracted from my natural state, wouldn't that mean that my natural state isn't happy? I, I don't know. Gosh, sorry, I feel like I'm rambling now. It's fine, it's, no, it's fine. I'm, I'm sure I'll get over it or something. Oh, by the way, I gotta tell you about this new show that I'm watching. It's literally so good. 